I'm trying to get those out of the way. You guys are bringing in... So, we left off with the convoy returning. Uh, roughly 200 people have shown up. Do we have um, enough housing for yes. all that? Yeah. We had a lot of extra then. housing. Mm-hmm. How many people we've told now then? It's going to bring you to about 300. We just right. go in round numbers, three pop units. Is that our... fills up your housing. That's what I was going to ask. But... So we'll Add need that. more housing if there's going to be more. So now that you guys have grown beyond the village state... Uh... Our icon changes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have an icon change. <laughs> uh, one of the pop units goes to working in the stonework shop. So quarrying stones, mm-hmm. cutting them for masonry. All right. Um, one of the population units is directly tied in food acquisition. Yeah, to maintain everything else. Um, the fungus farm uh, has enough food to feed up to ten pops. You have three. Oh, wow, more. wow. That is a lot of mushrooms. Well, yeah. it can also grow all year. That's true. So, whereas it's... A and it's a, it's a quick growing and exactly. harvest grow harvest. It's not like corn. So, thank you, Glam. Technically, it's one housing, two industry, then? So, uh, the, you have only one industry. So, okay. that's the stoneworks. You have room for two more industries in that... Or, sorry, three more industries in that section. Right now, it's just the stoneworks. And, um, especially based on the people coming over... Can we be expecting more pop to be coming, and at what yes. point in time? So, at this point, once per season, you guys will be receiving a migrant wave. Do we know about how many, or is it going to vary? Or do they know? Um, so, their intent is to start sending 2D4, 100 <laughs> people per. Okay. But my, my point is, they're, they're equipping ships... Whether they're ready to head out from which island, who knows? Yeah, it's going to vary. All right, is it a mixed group? Uh, yes, both of those are mixed. Right. Future ones will not be mixed. They will likely be, because the boats are now being prepped on the various islands, racial-specific immigrants will be occurring. Okay. Neat. Um, is there any particular skill sets of anybody? At this point, coming? you have craftsmen of various sort. Farmers, it's you have a wide variety of skills. Okay. All right. What season is it? Didn't it's late fall, if I recall yeah, properly. I think so. Yeah, yes. Late. You guys are in the. You just just completed the second month of fall. Okay. okay. So we need to prep for whatever yeah, winter. We so you guys to... are going into November. Yeah. So we need to. Do we need to decide on an industry to take then, or so. You guys currently have no build points. No. Okay. We have to wait for them to make your stone. stone your masonry is going to start pumping out about one d four build points a week. Okay. In industry, let me scroll back over to that page because that'll give you an idea of roughly what we're looking at. What's what would probably be next though, blacksmith? Winter clothing, so tailor. Tanner. Tanner. Putting in a industry is 50 build points. Say that again? 50. Yeah, it's going to be a while. I guess we're going to have to try. If you guys receive migrants more than you have housing for, initially some slums are going to be set up, but then portions of them will go out and set up villages in the surrounding area. Just being self-sufficient and communal, yeah. communing around an industry yeah. of their choosing. I kind of I, I want to make sure that we can get housing for people coming in. Yeah, we can't it, it's gonna be it it's gonna be one of those slow slower growth factors. A but housing district is two hundred build points. Wow. Did we were we able to set up as much as we did right off the bat because they just had all kinds of stuff there? Yes. Okay. Because they didn't have really anything like, to do with it. They were just trading it. Exactly. So there's no way we're going to be able to keep all these people. Like, we can't make housing points yeah. before they get here. The other way of getting it is you could, there is a small caravan of traders that has come with these people. Giving them money, they will, so let's say 2D4, 
I roll, well, there I rolled a three. If you sent them money and or trade goods, instead of three pop units, they could bring two pop units and a shipload of build points, which would be 100 build points. That would probably be the yeah, more better stable decision. way to go than having slums set up and having people just sort of fend for themselves. I mean, it would work, but eh. Okay. Um, how much would that be? So, per build point, you would need to spend 40 gold. Okay. 40 gold or 50 gold? 40. 40, yeah. I have 5. I have, I ten. <laughs> I have 30. Okay, I take my hat off and I start going around <laughs> to everybody. Well, we have enough. We have 40 gold, right? For but, one build point. Yeah. That, do do we guys... know that you have like a big bag of gems? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I don't. I or thought somebody that was uh, either Severus or does. Severus. Huh? Severus does, and you guys are aware. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's got a bunch. He he he's the rich dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's just kind of holding on to it for right now. Uh, I'm a little bit less than eight minutes away, so if y'all can like yeah. stall. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We're just deciding future plans anyway. We can't make any actual decisions at this point that will affect anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch of people now. Should we start sending out like uh, research teams to try and find uh, we don't have resources? Any researchers or anything like that? Do we? Well, we I think scouts. they've already pretty much got jobs. Well, I like, meant like scouting got... teams to go find out research. Uh, not research. Uh, resources. resources. Resources in the you area. Are up to a town guard of around 30 people. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's, that's better than the A decent number. Ten. Yeah, the 10. Well, now you have 10 per shift. 10 during the day. Yeah. 10 during the evening. 10 during night. Maybe we can now keep our children inside the walls. <laughs> Possibly. In the middle of the night. So we got, what, 10 extra people? Um, Ten extra people that were drafted into the guard, yes, or the guard is their full time profession. And how much is a commerce uh, ward? A commerce that would be a district. It would be a building you build, either like market, okay, or if you wanted to build a whole district dedicated to it, you can put four commerce buildings in and two hundred to build the district, and you get a free building with that. Similar to how when you guys built the industrial, you got a free stone cutter. Okay. But. And if we buy one housing unit, that's going to be up to two. Uh, housing holds up three. to uh, three people, yes, and a building. Okay. Well, since we only have one real. Uh, district right now for gathering stuff, the uh, mining of the stone. Why not put most of our resources into that so we could build that up faster? We have no more resources. They're all doing jobs. I meant like people. Yeah, yeah we, your people are all doing, doing jobs. jobs. Oh. Like as soon as they got here they were already set. You guys was... had a massive amount, a massive lack of uh, yeah, people to do the jobs required. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as they came in, okay, yeah. Who here can grow mushrooms? All of you? Okay. Uh, who here can cut stone? You guys. Stone. Yeah. You guys. Guard. All right. Everyone who's left, back to the shroom farm. Yeah. We, we had a... Who knows what this is? Holds up about, So now we're actually... I do. You're a guard. Yeah. <laughs> on things. Yeah, so... Now, I say the farm. It's not 100 people are required to run the farm. They're running produce stalls. They're doing some hunting, gathering that doesn't yeah. affect native populations it's an industry surrounding yeah it's so like the basin you've got some masons some stone cutters some builders yeah it, it represents the greater economy you don't have to build we want a knickknack shop <laughs> let's spend two thousand gold to build a knickknack shop no the knickknack shops exist yeah once you guys start having, and right now it's just sold out of people's houses because you don't have a commerce yeah. district. Wherever there are old ladies, there are knickknack shops. Yeah. Exactly. How many people did you say arrived in one caravan? Two hundred. 
Up to 200 people? Well, that's what we got oh. this time. It's like no, I'm saying 2D4. Up to 2D4, so up to 800 people could show up. Jesus. No or it could be 200 people. It's because each island's doing their own thing on their own. Okay. So. You just never know. Yeah. Until they show up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of good that you didn't. Even because they're forming villages that we can then trade with, and then yeah. he actually gets to do his job. <laughs> yeah. Any villages that are formed are still technically under your rulership, and but they're going to be will operating. They, I mean, will they still be within the um, the the room bubble? No, I didn't think so because it's villages it's just be barely around like yes. our walls, isn't it? Correct. Is it like right at our walls? Pretty much. It goes just a tad just beyond, a covers the near buildings. So okay. that would be the fungus farm. Oh, oh yeah, okay, because it goes out and around. That's right. Yep. Yes, yeah, so they'd be vulnerable to monsters, but you know, they're still kind of less than us so far because we have a more fighters. I mean, we they have a place uh, to fall back to if need be, versus yeah. just being out in nowhere. Plus, they can be our scouts. <laughs> Well, when we hear screaming, we know something's approaching. <laughs> when we see smoke and fire, we're like, ah, something's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and All nothing right. of value was lost. <laughs> so. Pop units All of that covers. <laughs> what are you guys wanting to do? Uh, well, I think first we should probably get some money so we can get those build points from the caravan. So money can be acquired also in trade good form. So if you guys are out acquiring stuff that you want to sell back, you just send it out with the traders. So we have to actually go find stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. use the gold we have. Or use the gold you have. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you have to go find stuff. <laughs> uh, well, we have that's why I want to cost 50, 40 gold, right? 40 gold per single build point. Per build. single build point, I thought it was a like hundred build points. No. no. Oh, okay. That's yeah. So we can't. Yeah. 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 We put all of our gold together, and it's just like, here's a block of stone. Well, it's, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, well, we don't know no location or anything valuable though. Uh, you know? There's a whole lot of weird magic doors down there. Want to try like the first one? <laughs> that seems like the most chill. <laughs> Sure. And unless we know about anything else, otherwise we're just walking out into the wilderness, roaming around without anything to go on. All right. Um, um, what I um, we need we could ask. What's his name? What's his name? Who? Um. Olgon. How do you spell? Oh, the Olgahan the orc. Olgahan. Or the half orc. Yeah. They've been here for a long time. We could ask him if he knows of any potential places that might have been too, you know, way too dangerous for them to go out. Um, sure. To, but maybe we could take it on now that we've got more people. Uh, sure, you can uh, go ahead and ask him that. I'm going to go probably help out on it because it sounds like we're going to have a bunch of trade deals to work out. And she's setting up our commerce slash treasury. Not a whole lot of that at the moment, but yes, technically she'd be talking with the merchants about we will provide basically everything you've been provided verbally by me yep. is her sorting that out. Okay, and then uh, I assume he's here. Yep. Uh, okay. You have the aid action. Send out your scouts to find <laughs> your some resources like iron just metals. Precious metals. That's why when uh, we first got here, I kept trying to... Birds of animals. Yeah. I kept trying to keep I an eye out for animals. minerals in the uh, cave. Okay. Like, magically, I can... All right, well, you can help. If there's anything of value... So, so I, I guess I have to roll my leadership stat, and then... Yep, so what are you guys specifically doing? You're sending out the... Yeah, uh, hopefully scouts. she's sending scouts. Casting detect value. Uh, to find resources like herding animals or like precious like caves that might hold good mining areas okay. stuff like that. I'm probably sending that uh, one dude out there with him mm -hmm. uh, to help with that since he's the surveyor. Yep. Effectively. Go ahead and roll me leadership checks for both of you. <sighs> yeah. 
Modify 20. Hey. That's a 10. So 30 in total. All right. They're gone for the week. All right. Sweet. The other two of you, because these are week-long actions. I want to go talk to Ogahan and kind of fill him out for, like, we need things to sell or be able to acquire, you know, items of value. And you know, the other find out... Know? He knows so. that the Vegapig Mies used to do trade with some sort of Vegapig Me. He hesitates on the word that cultural center? City? The hub. Yes. There is a spot where the Veggie Pygmies take all of anything shiny they find. Oh. It'll end up going to this area. Okay. I assume, is that like, is it just a dump point? Or is it like also the center of their community? It's and the it's, center of their community. Okay. So it's it's in the center of Capital City, Veggie Pygmy. It's a... Fire. To call it a no city fire. is ambitious. It is a spot where many Veggie Pygmies mm-hmm. live, and they cause trouble for Veggie Pygmies who don't deliver their shinies to this area. Okay. So they... they even two other Veggie Pygmies, they are... are Generically no. hostile. Yes. Did you kind of take my word, but no wonder they went extinct on the other continent. Kind of. No, people. That's the reason they went extinct on the other continent. Build points to make like districts um, and stuff like that. Uh, Two hundred make a housing district. Yeah. Fifty to make Does a industrial district. Does he know where that is much. roughly? Um, district. he would know that it is. Um, Let me reference my map. Direction. He's distance. got the rough uh, direction, not the distance. Okay. Each ship will get two d four hundred population. I'm just wondering if he if he uh, has any kind of feeling of is this a day hundred hundred away, is this a month hundred away, hundred or just has no clue. We, oh, he has no hundred idea, hundred but it's somewhere hundred in the forests hundred that, hundred if I remember correctly, uh, are the bungle farm north and, and west. west. They can okay. the ten pops, so three and ten of that. Um, I'm just start going through. You're trying to. You remember which book the map was in, Jenna? Get more. Make sure the map stuff to sell because there's a deal where if you give the caravan. Um, Probably the DMs. Certain good. amount of uh, money. We're gonna make a guess. Uh, it, it's like forty uh, gold for so, a build point. Ma, ma, so if we ma. were to get the country no, sent to them, I it's was correct. Amount of build points. And it's actually mm-hmm. maybe on map again. Uh, so yeah, it would be northwest. Uh, okay. So well, does he think it's just and between the tree line and the mountain storage. range there? Yes, that's that's that part. general direction. Okay. Um, he would believe it, yes. There's the mountains that are kind of in the center of the trees. Mm-hmm. He doesn't believe it's that far, but it is in that general direction. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, does he know if it's past the, the first uh, river nope. tributary? They never know. went out. They just okay. know the Veggie Pygmy caravans would head out in that direction. Okay. okay. My character. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And we get a week of... Uh, to do is what I've been trying to do is to do leadership stuff on my to combine with I help the scouts and other scouts to find additional, like additional like resources yeah. and or like panels and like that. You're not allowed to get my uh, character to go about helping with the yeah, unless I go with like, like the scouting party. Kind of trade, um, he said the veg pick me so I mean, Well, the, the scouting party has done what it's going to do. I heard you're taking a governmental office action. Where are you going? So I've got the three of you left to take actions. I know what I'm going to be doing. Okay. I'm going to be taking an inventory on what supplies the 200 population just brought in. Um, nothing really beyond survival. They just all got their bug out bags on their back. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I was hoping they'd bring other supplies than that, but okay. A lot of it's just house furnishings um, and... <laughs> that's fine, but I am still not... Not maliciously or I don't know yep. another term but I'm still going to take an inventory of yep. what people bring into this town yep we need to know who has rope roll me well a... no we need to know who has weapons <laughs> go ahead and roll me a um, uh, government action or action check alright that's going to be a 16 alright uh, is everyone already have designated helping or can I help people uh... what's your office specifically Diplomat. 
Diplomat, uh, you could assist with smoothing over anything. That's actually <laughs> hey, man, I need to pat you down. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, ma'am, I need to pat you down. Well, I meant like uh, helping <laughs> people figure out <laughs> which houses they go to, which ones are not occupied, keeping track of that sort mm-hmm. of thing. Making sure there's no dead bodies laying in the empty houses yeah, before yeah. they move in. <laughs> yeah. That too. <clears throat> uh, go ahead and roll a um, government check. Nine. All right. And did um, Ogahan have any other ideas on valuables or things that could be acquired? Whether not not just like finding he... money or shiny things, but like are there any animals or plants that are considered of value that could be cultivated or obtained, or you know, known mines that may have been too dangerous? He, to they've like lived in their cave and around this area for generations, and never have been like, let's go find a gem because yeah. Effectively, they are vault dwellers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he knew, he knew about the pageant thing, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. it helps. So. so so that is a way we can go. For group knowledge, the amount of gems, and I'm not keeping these to me, I'm just holding on to them until we have a treasury something, because I found them. Um, I have up to 620 gold pieces worth of gems. So we could um, almost build something like that. Yeah, maybe <laughs> almost. No. no, 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 but almost. Yeah, yeah. You get like five build points. All that. No, like 15. oh, oh, it's forty per. Yeah, no. it's forty, 40 per. per. Yeah, that's right. So, so yeah, it'd be like yeah, one so two. It's four yeah. divided by sixty-two. Right. <laughs> About twelve. Yeah. So we're looking at twelve build points. Yeah. Like. I really don't want to waste that. that much is money. Yeah. <laughs> um, I assume I can do more in a week than go talk to yeah. Ogar. Yeah, you get you get a government <laughs> action. Just wait a cut it. Um, I also want to try to talk with um, like any of the 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 people that actually know what they're doing with the stonework and the mining. Okay. And see if there's anything else besides just manpower um, that could help. That process. Go uh, a beast of burden. Okay. If they didn't have to manually mm-hmm. move everything, that would be a help. Okay. Oh, you also have four less. And then I'll go back to Ogar yeah, yeah, and I'm ask him about they, any <laughs> animals that down. are large enough for that. The doors. They didn't have any. Door one. Yeah. I mean, like, have, have they ever great. seen or heard of them being Experience. around? Or if there's anything I've heard, heard of, of. could be <laughs> domesticated. There are, well, domesticated. Well, uh, there well are they, they could be un- enough to be useful. Yeah. And be more more use than danger. <laughs> he wouldn't know. Like surfing tigers. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't know. Okay. Um. Would that be something that could be brought over on a ship? Yes. Okay. We'd say on so, was the name of our city? Uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I have Valgate right on top. Sure. Why not? But I also have Mount Hold, so. I don't remember, to be honest. Um, city of the Lost Shuffle. Yeah. No, here we oh, got just go with the whole theme. Since I did switch characters to a warlock, do you need to see anything on my paper? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. So if we put, if we are kind of effectively putting in orders for things, for supplies and whatnot, um, for the next batch of ships, uh, piece of burden, they are going to take the place of either population or supplies, but in the long run, they will expedite our getting, being able to create our own stonework. Okay. It will speed that along. Probably by 1d4. <laughs> no, a- assigning beasts of burden to stuff that needs it doubles the output. Hey, okay. So, you know, we'll get a little less supplies or whatever on the next shipment, but our, our revenue will go up. Oh, yeah. No, I, I agree with that. I completely go get some asses. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bard's job. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. So, um, I am not the stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be <laughs> for descriptive purposes. Yep. Um, I did send to you. Uh, my character is an Azimar, yep. Azimir, however you pronounce yep. it. Uh, to you guys, he will just seem to be human. 
It's an ASA. Did you think he had worked that way? Or your I'm he just still has to waiting on what? Sprout's government action. Oh, no, that's Pinterest all day. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what my government good. office entails. Which one is it? I don't know. I'm the head druid. You, you took the head of our agriculture. Yeah, I was going to say, you could use it with the fungus to collect healing herbs and take a roll toward potions for the week. Okay. <laughs> Make healing funguses. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that I can do? Marinate the fungus. Send it back as a, as a weird food from the new land. <laughs> Is there anything else that would be involved with um, being the uh, keep wanting to say magistrate? <laughs> yeah, you, Is that you're right? the magister. Yeah, magister. Yeah. Magister. Because um, I'm really not, not it sure. Would, it would, would your office contains any magical phenomena they discover. Mm-hmm. They have not discovered magical phenomena. Okay. So I'm just kind of on call. Yep. Okay. And so, once say, once say, you guys start wanting to desk. set up like a college of magic, that's on you. Okay. You're basically With the at gnome desk, as a teacher, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll end well. So, um, go ahead and just take oh, government role. Government role. Sixteen. All right, you have that many crafting actions. Hey, all right. At between you and all of your various assistants. Okay. So, my little mushroom minions. <laughs> your guys' scouts return after a period of time. Well, after the week. And they mentioned to you just days, every couple days they'd stop by, hey, we didn't find anything, or hey, we're going to investigate this mountain. Turns out there was nothing. But the third time they come back, it's. We did find a cave around the back that. We noticed that there were various glistening gems, but that there were also various bones around. We did not endeavor to enter. Excellent. Yay. Are they reporting they anybody? They did in see a floating orb in the cave, though. Finally, had something to do. Problem is, I have nothing in Arcana, so. <laughs> Wait, that's not mine. Because <laughs> Druid. Well, Mother Druids do, but. Yeah. Alright. Um, how far away is it? Uh, about a day's walk. It's going to be up the mountain range, so follow the river north along the mountains. Uh, they bones. give they give detailed directions. Um, the bones, what they can give you for description, is they appeared scorched, and there was no vegetation immediately around the mouth of the cave. That's Similar right. signs of scorching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just oh, there's fire. It's a dragon. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a cave, and there's burn marks and bones. What else is gonna be? Exactly, right? I mean, it could. <laughs> That's good. Kill. As of yet, he's not wrong. <laughs> it would be a good ally. That's not it would wrong. Be. All right, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> Roll seduction. Natural twenty. <laughs> and good luck. Horns were born. Just in case we have those points again. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we can make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, I could give you the you whole have one extra chance. <laughs> yeah, but we all have um, So, we, he's got the key. We, 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 we can either try the cave or we can try a door. I don't think we're ready for the doors, to be honest. I don't think we're all just one of just, just. We barely handled one, and, and that's after they were weakened. Yeah, that, that was a higher number. We don't know what the numbers mean yet. Don't know if it's like higher the weaker or higher the stronger, or if it even actually matters. There, I, I don't think there was actually like numbers on the doors. There wasn't. Nope. There were just doors. Yeah. Oh, okay. We labeled some of the <laughs> some of the epitaphs mentioned numbers, but yeah. there was no yeah. number in on a door. This is it. Never said this is door one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 
Um, we could get to the doors anytime we want. They're under the city. Yeah. But we might as well take care of this now. Okay. For the cave. Yeah. I wouldn't mind the extra resources, to be honest, if there is anything in there. And... And the doors are in the cave. cave. <laughs> in the cave. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take off for the cave. All right. Um, two people on point, survival checks. Um, Not me. I'll go. I think I'm if you have Outlander, better. go ahead and take advantage. Six and ah. survival. Oh, you do? Yeah. But I have it. Not 20. Well, I would too. All right. So I'm an oh. Outlander as well. Well, if you have a plus six, you'll probably roll better than me, though. The tabaxi. <laughs> We've already got a net twenty from the tabaxi. I got a seventeen. Hey, all right. So the tabaxi's going the right way. You're a hundred percent sure she's going the right way. I rolled an eleven and three, just for reference. Okay, so yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Doesn't matter what my stats say. It still means um, the scouts. You had been on some trips with them previously, so in the description they gave you, they were giving you. Hey, this is exactly how we get out there, and referencing landmarks that you were familiar with. As you guys are traveling, day goes without event, evening comes, you guys are looking up at the mouth of a cave. The cave appears to sink into the mountain, in that you see it fall away quicker than it should. You guys are about 300 feet down from it. There is a clear walking path up. Do I see a white rabbit in the middle? Of it? No. No <laughs> white rabbits. Okay. Hold on. A clear walking path as in it seems like there has been heavy terrain through, or heavy no. motion through here? Uh, it is a rocky mountainside. Okay. It's merely you can get up there without issue. Okay. Where do I, can I see the bones? You can see bones. They're scattered among the rocks up there. All appear to be small creatures. Or smaller, so tiny, small. Okay. Um, the occasional bone of something medium-sized, but you don't see any medium-sized skeletons. How, and all of the bones do, are do they scattered. Seem, do they seem like they're animals? Or yeah, you know, this range, you, yeah, go ahead and give me a nature check. Well, I was going to go up there and just investigate. That's fine. Yeah. That's 12. From this distance, yeah. Yeah. you guess animal. You're probably right, but you can't. <laughs> you don't know for all of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, sir, but no crest over it quite yet. Just kind of oh, yeah. keep this no, short. Um, all right, do you want me to go attempt to scout ahead? Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, I will. <laughs> uh, I will attempt to <laughs> yeah. approach in stealth. All right, go ahead and give me a stealth check. <laughs> Uh, 21. 21? Just deftly up the side of the mountain, creep up, and there's various bones scattered around you now. Alright, uh... Um, go ahead and give me a survival roll. Oh boy. Or nature, your choice. Uh, they're the same, so that's a 17. 17? The bulk of them are animal. There are some goblins. And there are various dried husks of vegetalian. And by dried, I mean charred. Okay, uh, and I'm at the entrance of the cave now. Am I able Correct. to see anything inside the cave when I look in? You peek up, kind of look in. Ned. <laughs> you don't see anything. There's various stalactites, and it's not going to be easy walking. Everything in the terrain in the cave is going to be difficult terrain. All right, uh, I'm going to gather you some of the... do see... A you dark vision? Yes. Uh, somewhat in there, you do see uh, gems kind of just uncut in their raw form, just sitting on the floor. How far in? Uh, going to be at the edge of your site, so 30 feet, 25 feet. 60. Oh. Well. 25 feet, 30 feet. And it, it's not like there's piles. It's like there's one there, maybe one here, and... But as it gets further in towards 60, you're like, oh, well, there's like four, a cluster of four just sitting, kind of discarded. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to walk in slowly and stealthily. All right. Trying to keep an eye out for I'm, anything. I'm going to say if I see him. And, well, do I, I even see him? him? Yeah, you guys he's, would be able to see him go over. up and over. Okay. But then he, he's gone. Oh, yeah. We ahead. wouldn't see him go in the cave. You guys would see him enter the cave. Okay. okay. If I saw him entering the cave, I'd start heading that 
way. Okay. Right. Well, what I'm going to do I is... I am going to need another stealth roll. 16. Because what I plan on doing is uh, walking in quietly and slowly as I can. Okay. To uh, go pick up one of the gems. All right. Come back out and then bring so it to the group. So you guys start... Who else? The rest of you are headed up? Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. going to go. All right, so you guys start winding your way up. It's 300 feet. You get in about 25 feet. Give me a perception plan. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> oh, you're walking into the cave as he pulls up the monster manual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 24. Awesome. Hey. You see darkness. Great. Magical darkness? No. Or just, just normal darkness. <laughs> that you can okay. see through. Regular darkness. Okay. Okay, good. Give me a second. <laughs> Sentient darkness. Go ahead and roll me 3d6. Reroll, and re-roll a duplicate if you run into a duplicate. I need three unique numbers. Uh, one, three, and five. All right. So first thing That's here. One, three, five? Yes. Dex save. <laughs> at least I'm good at that. Right. Eleven. All right. Con save. <laughs> Sixteen. All right. You feel your muscles start to freeze up, but they've not frozen. Strength save. Oh no! Jeez, <laughs> man, get out! <laughs> well, I, I assume these are all happening at the same time. That's yes. a nine. Oh, okay. Um, your speed is halved, and you are prone, <laughs> and you're in difficult terrain. What? Did I, was I able to make it to one of the gems? And you got it? to the first <laughs> I don't gem. think that's the important thing. I, right I now. will pick that you up. You are twenty-five feet in when two. Beams of energy streak out. Oh, one oh, strikes you on the shoulder, shoot, one strikes you in the side, the other flies over your shoulder. Okay, now, uh, can I take my action now? Yeah. <laughs> I will grab one of the gems, look to uh, the entrance of the cave, use my face step to get out. Alright, you face step up thirty to the mouth of the cave because you can't see over it. Yeah. Roll hey. 56. 2d6? 3d6. Oh. Reroll duplicates. Oh boy. It can move to catch him and then fire One, off again. Six and three. Does he does it does he still get an action though? Uh, he used his action to he still has move I see him grab. Coming out? You guys can see him at the mouth of the cave now. Can down I, with can I move hand. around to the corner of the cave? You guys aren't even up there yet. No. Okay. Technically, you guys are walking your way up, so you guys are now 270 feet from him. So his full action was just grabbing the gem? Grabbing well, the gem and then using bonus I, action as your face step, right? Yeah. So I would probably be able to use my movement to get up. Okay, yes. That would be... What's your total movement? 30. So you're down to 15, and your speed is still half, so you have <laughs> 5 feet of movement. Oh, I'm, hold on. I'm going to use that you, five feet of movement to get as far out as I can. Yeah, you, his, hold on. he got to the mouth. If you face right stepped, would you not, or misty stepped, would you not be up? He got to the mouth of the cave. Is it still difficult terrain out past the cave? Uh, no, but the half speed is from one of his failed saving heroes. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. Really so I, I, I yeah. move like five okay. feet towards the group. Yeah. <laughs> we just see his hands and... come over the road, just like. Help. Yeah, so oh, roll 3d6. Six. Again. Not roll surprised. 3d6. Uh, Reroll duplicates. I. What are they? <laughs> 1, 3, and 6. <laughs> Dex save. 19. 1, 3, and 6. Strength save. 8. Wisdom save. Let me use this die. <laughs> Four. That's going back in there. So you see him kind of get over the head, and you guys can clearly see two eye rays hit him in the back. Mm. The first one, because the, the, the slope's about 35, 45 at this point, you see him just kind of 
go out into the air. I raise his body is ragdolling. Oh. oh dear. I raise, you say. Oh no, beholders. Roll a deck save, you're asleep, you fail it. <laughs> you begin to tumble thing. down the side. Okay. Uh, you take mm-hmm. six points of bludgeoning damage. You're now awake. Roll me a deck save. <laughs> As you kind of you you were up there and you're just like, what's going? And next thing you know, you're tumbling. That's a twelve. Where's my blue die? Twelve. Nope. Take four points of damage. Roll a dex save. <laughs> hey, 24. 24. You kind of catch yourself after tumbling. You catch yourself from 30 to... So you're about 40 feet down from the cave at this point. Having tumbled across some loose and less than loose rocks. There is no gem in your hand. Okay. Uh, I'll start looking downhill. The specifically, you would be able to remember as one of the eye rays hit you, you felt it melt away. It melted away. Yes. Oh, it's God. Goof. Jim goo. Ooh. <laughs> Can I roll Arcana to try to figure out what the hell that was? Yep. That one. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> you called that! Oh. <laughs> I think I hear the name of another, another building coming up. <laughs> the Elves Dragon. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get King back dragon. to the you guys, uh, you guys are able to kind of rendezvous. Oh, you dragon. see him with Alleged bruises dragon. across his body. <laughs> Having Just fun with that. Mascot this. like a pink dragon, like pooping yes. out the dragon. Yes, <laughs> lots of fun. What? You want to go join the fun? Just walk in there. And there's no dungeoneering skill in Fifth Edition. Mm-hmm. What's the equivalent? I guess it's Arcana. Arcana. Depends. For this one, I'm going to take Arcana on this one. Arcana Ooh. rolls from all. Oh, I was like, what? Can I roll oh. again? <clears throat> Nineteen somehow. Fifteen. That's a three. Ten, eleven. It's fitting the bard knows it, because there's songs about these. <laughs> it's some form of lesser beholder. You don't know what type. You know it's not a full-grown one, because he would not have survived yeah. being hit by two eye beams. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Guys, I have a zero to Arcana. How the hell am I meeting you guys? <laughs> I got a plus one. I got a plus two. But I rolled me, one so and two on the die, three. so... All right. I believe it to be a lesser beholder. Because really the rare beholder, beholder this thing? you'd be dead. That's, That's why, why I only wish for myself. <laughs> dragon. No, no dragon. But if I you said want I wish for okay. myself. I, 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 um, what, what do we know about uh, a lesser beholder? What do you know about a lesser beholder? What you would know is basically they're like beholders, but less... They, they're, 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 like <laughs> they're, they're, they're like... They're a beholder, they're a beholder <laughs> but smaller and not as kill you. Yeah. I got that. You got about three or they so. Do like to, they do like to hoard uh, riches if they can get their hands on it. Okay. Okay. Their okay. non existent hands. Cool. Yes. Cool. Danger. Cool. And. Yeah. This yeah. IRA is so, very. I don't know if it can choose what they are, what they do. It might just be random. Not too sure. You would know it's random. Random. Okay. Mm-hmm. That, that, uh, that's cool. South that's cool. It, Oddly enough, I didn't bring them with me. Do you know anything? Tactile about these things, not just what you've heard in songs or passing, but have you actually? Do you have any actual knowledge and facts about these things? Uh, something we can. You use guys have to know of them from myth. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. The myths say that I'm they're not that really. What we they wrote. float. Um, they might take the terrain in advance. So they might be like up high where no one can see them and shoot down, or be floating through holes or something. Shit. Uh, depending well, on the intelligence of it and how resourceful it is and its lair. Well, inside the cave, it's pretty difficult terrain, so... It... Okay. You sure Probably... I was just an eye beam The eye beams were the only thing I got hit by. Melted the gem I grabbed. So... But it wasn't difficult terrain. This thing likes... Hit. Treasure. 
And no, it was going in. I kind of pull out the, the bag of gems I'm trying. What if we lead it out and spring the trap? I'm just sitting there shaking it like. Obviously, it hates the elf. <laughs> I don't lure it out and then encircle and wipe it out with heavy firepower from all directions. I'd like to have that extra person as firepower. Do you know what kind of languages the beholder would speak? Whatever it wants. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Is it? I mean, they were known to have their own language. Yeah. Okay. But full beholders would be known in the legends to speak the language of whatever hero they're combating in said myth. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. And it's telepathic, ain't it? Sure. I, I'm halfway certain. Tales tell it. All you do is gloat until you make you feel shitty about yourself. Isn't that your job? <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> He's a beholder in disguise. <laughs> I've given the beholder 15 levels in bard. <laughs> Beholders are just bards with more magical firepower. Yeah. Like wizards become not liches. not a level 15 <laughs> Wizards become liches, bards become beholders. That's how that works. <laughs> it's why beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Exactly. Okay, so obviously we're dealing with something that can seriously mess us up. Yeah, you don't say. How far did you get in? About 25 feet. Okay. But you got in 25 feet before it attacked you. Yes. And you grabbed the gem and then it attacked? Or did he he not get it? It attacked and then he grabbed the gem. Okay. So, uh, would I know which direction the rays came from? From down the cave. From down the cave, or like at an angle down? Or? Uh, it's hard to tell because you weren't able to see. They came from beyond your sight. Okay. In other words, it could shoot from beyond 60 feet in pitch black. That's... Oof. We can't. Well... I mean, I do like if if going in, come out we will be gems. blind because it be can see farther than we can. Will, I really. couldn't even see it when I was in there, yep. and I have dark vision. Yeah. So, um, what does the terrain look like? Is it just a mouth, and then it's there's a lot of stalactites. It's difficult terrain. No, no, I mean to... like outside of the cave. Oh, Sorry. outside? Yes. Yeah, it's just kind of rocks. The mouth is in the side, a little bit of an overhang. Is there any cover? <laughs> is the there any, tights? like, outside, is there any way to hide? Are the stalactites cover? Of course. How big are they? You can use the stalactites as cover inside the cave, yes. Um, let's see. They would count as, uh, if you're hiding behind one of the big ones, as three quarters cover. Right. Ooh. Is the, outside is the ground yeah. um, loose enough? We're making saves, not work. attack rolls. Um, or is it too yeah, big? Yeah, well, we're talking yeah. stones that so are like at the smallest four. softball. Okay. At least it's yeah, the, at the best at dark vision. It's not course. gravel. And you can yeah, camp feet. using slag tight. Well, you both can yeah. use slag tights as cover. As soon as you get close enough to see it, or uh, close, uh, you just throw the torches so we can see it and light it up, and then we can hit it with our spells and range. Yeah. And if I get 60, within 60 feet of it, I can learn what if it has any immunities or resistances, and yeah, getting that. Uh, is there anything in the myths about them, about certain types of damage not affecting them, or anything being particularly effective? They can move things, so I guess some kind of telepathy, or uh, push or pull thing. Various different types would have different abilities. Uh, some, it's maybe some fiery. Are we treating it as uh, he was a mm-hmm. Asimar warlock from the yes. beginning? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so I would know that he also has spells. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask the three of you if. Say what we could do is, I take out one of my arrows, put a light cantrip, if any of you have it, on an arrow, and I shoot it into the cave. He does. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Asmar get it. Asmar. Gets oh, it. Asmar gets it as a. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I do have it as a light as a, a, a racial ability. Light and sacred flame. Yep. I forgot about that. I'm pretty sure. So there um, might be differences between the sub. 
races, but I'm not sure. So I think it's just baseline. Yeah. That's I just want to get within 60 feet of it and I can kind of put a shatter on it. I've got one too. <laughs> oh, hey, we double shattered. All right, does that plan sound good? The only two things I have on me that is might be there, a particular there's use. one very particular thing that I do want to ask, and and this will go out to everybody. Do you have any idea, even if this thing has eyesight, can it see through magical spells? <laughs> you I don't know. know. Yeah. You do know that beholders, in their truth, in their final form, just yeah. nope magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A final form beholder has this thing that I heard called a disintegration ray, and <laughs> it's killed people. <laughs> it was the most How do you know? It was the they most, were disintegrated. It was the most talked about thing. I was like, and then it fired this thing that made my friend evaporate. Yeah, yeah right? that's the that's what almost did Steve, my yeah. druid. And, and then I ran. That's how that's level ended. thirteen or fourteen or something. Yeah, no. one roll was: Does my character live, or is he just gone? Yeah, <laughs> from the disintegration ray. I could turn invisible, but I don't know if he would just see right through. And I really don't want to waste the spell. I want to try to get back. Well, we're seeing things here that haven't been seen on the continent we came from in what hundreds of years? Yeah, so thousands, 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 thousands of years. Of years. Okay. <laughs> I didn't remember the time frame. It's been a minute. Yes, I had. I have Entangle, which could potentially keep him from moving around. Um, and I have Flaming Spear, which doesn't do a lot of damage, but it might keep him from uh, retreating if we needed to keep him out in the open. Or it might serve as a decent block to keep him from coming closer to us. I don't think that's going to be an issue, but that's, that's all I really have that's going to be of particular use. Um, I've got my Eldritch Blast <laughs> with 120 feet. That's all you need. Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright. And I get to add my Charisma modifier, so it's 1d10 plus 3, which hits harder than my axe. <laughs> um, okay. And Tangle would still work, as far as I know. Read the spell off. Because um, it's just, it. They are they are considered restrained. It doesn't bring their movement to zero, per se. It reads the spell off. (laughs) Grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square, starting from a point within range. For the duration, these plants turn the ground and earn the area into difficult terrain. The creature in the area, when you cast the spell, must make a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangled plants until the spell ends. Well, there you go. It will do exactly that. It might not be affected. Well, I'm just we'll saying see. that's what I got prepared. Because Sprout always has that prepared. So <laughs> I can get a light source in there that will light up majority of that cave. Not uh, right. just a light. I can cast Bonfire. Oh. And it is up to 60 feet away. Okay. So, But it lasts for a minute. So, Can you still do other stuff while that's going? Yeah, that's okay. that's a okay. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I do a tangle or flaming I'm spear, either one I've activated at once. <laughs> Just one. It just says one action. Or hold on. It's not concentration. You can get as many as you as want. Many as I want. I can just light the whole cave on fire. <laughs> well, it takes six seconds, so it's more. Yeah, but. Yeah, but it lasts. <laughs> the duration is up to one minute, and its range is six feet. And I can actually cause fire damage with it. <laughs> so um, it just depends on if you, you want to go in gun blazing, or if you want to go in and or just do bonfires as we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he's gonna know we're there. I'm, uh, to think I'm pretty if, sure he's going to know we're there regardless. I think he already yeah. knows who we're here. That's true. Yeah. He got 20 feet in and yeah. had no idea we were here before that. And, and still, I didn't even see him. Yeah. So, I don't think we're going to get a surprise on him. So our two options is go in, guns blazing, or spells blazing. <laughs> <laughs> Bonfires or, blazing. 
we can try and set up some kind of a trap out here. Okay, but what would we do to lure it out? We can't just say, hey, we have stuff you want, and drop it on the ground and hope he comes out. I don't no, think that's going to work. Um, I mean, it could, but I doubt uh, it. You'd leave I mean, a trail it's... of gems. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to lose all those gems. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, if the trap doesn't work, then we go in and get the gems back anyway or die. Yeah. So, I like seeds and which I would only think maybe having sending the most dexterous and through with night vision forward just so because <laughs> they have the best chance of seeing the thing if they stoop the end of seeing it. Uh, have the tobacco seed back a bit, waiting. And, and holding to see uh, where the uh, if any eye beams come out because those are going to lead directly to it. Fire yep. an arrow there. Uh, maybe if if you can have it lit so that if it hits, there's now a flame on it. Yeah. And that way, if we see a moving little flame around, oh, boom, 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 with with everything. But it's going to be a get close and close with it because its whole ability is range. It yeah. does have a mouth from what the myth said, but that is a lesser concern. It'll lick you. <laughs> <laughs> Only to a bard would having a mouth be a lesser concern. <laughs> it I, has very pointy teeth that go a mile What time long. of day is it? <laughs> what time of day is it? It is late evening, so it's going to be about 8 p.m. You definitely want to fight this thing before it gets night. That's I mean, fine. And once you're in the cave, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, do you know if come out, we need know. to take a short rest so sure. he gets his hit points. Short rest is eight hours. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Uh, crap. I have Multiple points. campaigns. The rules for you. Uh, you seem to know about beholders. Oh, do you know if they sleep at any time? Or oh. What any of their habits are? I don't think I would know that based on myths. Really? A good story is running in when it's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you kill dragons. I remember this one about some kind of about a beholder, but it was so that they snuck in, but it was too busy talking to some kind of fish. <laughs> to really notice them. Oh, man. Xana thumped something. Yeah. Oh, he's going. Uh, if we don't want to wait, I can cu- I can cast Cure Wounds on him. I will give you a healing potion if you need it. I do. I do have that. Because I am close to... Where you at? I'm five Theoretically, points away. Theoretically, it would need sleep. I'm five points away from being Theoretically, it would need sleep. I mean... <laughs> but how often do we... <laughs> Yes, You're yes. asking lots of the questions, guys. I'm going off myths here. <laughs> well, that's all we have. In, I so, in, tales, in tales of legend, they didn't talk about when it slept. They, they talked about the actual fight, or them running, or them dying. One of the two. Yeah. Will six hit points help you out? That would help me a lot. They don't tell if the, the, the lesser beholder is getting enough dietary fiber every, every day. <laughs> Judging by the bones, I would say yeah, maybe, potentially, depending on how old these are, but And the pygmy husks. I kept one of them. Okay. You kicked that pygmy husk. The pygmy husks are Oh wait, about they're away from us. From you guys. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. You guys are hundred feet away from the mouth of the cave. Based on where he fell and then kind of moving to meet up in the middle. At least I didn't fall the whole way down. Yeah? They uh, asked me uh, if, it, if the beholder sleeps. I said, you're right. I mean, you've got to sleep sometime or another, but... So our plan is just to create bonfires in Russian? Yeah, I guess. I mean, at least it'll light the way, but once he starts firing I-beams, we got to locate him quick. Yeah, we can take cover, and once it fires I beams one, it'll tell us around which direction he is, so we can take cover relative to it. So when you went in and you saw the stalactites, like how far in are they? Is it right at the mouth? There's about five feet in the mouth where they aren't, but then they start up once you get ten feet in. Okay, how big are they? Are they 
are big. They, as I say, some of them are forming columns. You've got enough okay. for a medium creature to get three quarters cover while standing. Enough to like quietly try to sneak through them, or you could try to sneak through them. Like try using the biggest <laughs> ones as you tried to sneak through them. I oh, tried. That's different. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there is a can use those as cover. I mean, yeah. That might be your best bet, and I can I can at least light the way for everybody else up to a distance, but. It's, the solid plan is we're going to get. Well, if we can sneak sneak up and have a really, maybe I can take points and try at least close enough to try and sense if there's any the immunities and stuff or vulnerabilities and all that. Uh, you so have the, abil- the uh, ability to sense things as a ranger, right? Primeval awareness? Yeah, that too. Would that be able to help us? Let's see... Spend spell slot for one minute per level of spell slot since whether uh, creatures are present within one mile, six six miles in favor terrain. I can specifically start uh, aberrations, celestials, or whatever. You get the location or num location and number is not revealed. Play so basically, say. under best case scenario, you can go. Hey, is there a beholder? Yep. Pretty sure there is. Yeah. Okay, because I didn't <laughs> know if it would. I didn't no, know it didn't tell GPS you the exact with the dot with the dot with the dot. No, that but, would be nice. <laughs> it would that would be nice. Nice. That's creature, which, There's a single net five meters that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, are we going stealth or going love? I'm pretty sure I always go in love, even when I'm stealthing. Okay. I at least tried to sneak up and then. So, so who's got a torch? You. We don't need a torch. I have torches, but we don't have one. I'll be able to place those bonfires. How many bonfires can you make? As many as I want. Oh, okay. It's cantrip, bro. Do you stay lit? Like you use it again? Up to a minute. Okay. Yeah, so sure. one will last so six rounds. You dark vision? We just. I do sixty feet. All right. We just go in guns just blazing, seven, one, using nine, these stalactites as cover. I mean, can't hit all of us in a round. I hope. Uh, <laughs> hit three how many us. things? How many eye beams did you see? Three. That means it can hit three of us at a time. Excellent. I'm in the back. That means two people will break through. But <laughs> that yeah. also means that if one of us gets hit and we fail our our save, it's it's not gonna be good. <laughs> it's not gonna be instant death though. I mean, the elf survived at least two whole volleys. That's true. That depends on what he got hit with though. Yeah, yeah, but it's the elf. Pac- uh, petrification one, and and it's I mean he's it, it's screwed. <laughs> we got hit screwed. by just about all yeah. of them because that's all it takes to, or at least all the ones that were rolled. Come back from that, Smith. Yeah, I think I succeeded on like one of the checks. I mean, that was one of the important ones. Yeah, so you, you succeeded on two total. You okay. Hit by four, past two. One of them was petrification, I believe. That you saved on. That or at least... Um, is there something else? Disintegration. Mel- no, it was just probably what melted the crystal. Are we going to do this, or...? Yeah. Let's go for it. So uh, You gave him a healing just, thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Just to be clear in the plan... I'm popping off bonfires as soon as we get in the mouth, correct? Or are we trying to sneak in as far as we can, get hit, and then start popping off bonfires? <laughs> I'm one to vote at least for that because then I get a chance to learn something in. about it other than this. That hurt. All right. If it Sounds suddenly good. fires at it, then we go in as fast as possible. Hold on. I need to. Only you guys can sneak them because the rest of us can't see because we can't see anything. A scale mail disadvantage. I got it. I, got it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll be sneaking. sneaking until I run right into a slide, a slide type phase first. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Scale mail is disadvantage. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah, I have disadvantage as of right now. It's for, it's uh, just take it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need medium armor? Or? I can do heavy armor. I took the heavy armor. You should, you should take it out of the first place. Uh, I should I have, but I didn't know what kind of armor we had access to, and this is what my last character had. So. You would be able to know that 
uh, beholders don't target AC at all. Yeah, it, it, and I know I'm not too worried about that. It's yep. more of the disadvantage for stealthing is yep. what all that's about. So, sneaking in. Before, yeah. Before we go in, does anybody actually have any healing potions or salves or anything on them right now? No. Uh, no. Two for you. Two for you. Yay. Two for you. Two for you. Yay. What, sab or potion? Potion. So, um, is that two? It's 2d4 plus two? Yep. Cool. I appreciate this, mm-hmm. good sir. Good sprout. Everyone. Everyone should get the benefit of this, bro. <laughs> so what's our order going in? I'm last. I'll go first. I need to be in the middle. I'll go after him. I'll be after those two. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so those two, me. One, two, two. three, four, five. Actually, I'm six because yeah, I might as well be the most expendable in the party. I haven't been doing any government <laughs> well, shit. It, it's not that; it's that you have the most likely chance to get as far up as possible without it noticing. That is the yeah. Right. Give me a stealth check. Oh boy! Yeah, like everybody, or just the first two? Just the first. That one. one. <laughs> Oh yes! Oh, why am I? Wait, I'm just, I'm just he gonna turn this in. Steps over and immediately. Is he I'm gonna, gonna turn, turn this in? <laughs> okay. Will you accept that? Yeah. Okay. It, this is a I, token from a one shot that they earned a free I re-roll. Deeply apologize for um, what it has for perception. Modified. It's a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> that. Ironically, I rolled a modified 20. So you see the rock, you step around the rock, and roll me 3d6. Oh boy. 